you might be familiar with the popular playground game known as Slap, in which the aim is to slap your opponent as hard as possible. Most of the time, tears and bruises are the result. It's the kind of game that's fun when you're young, but makes you cringe when you think about it as an adult. Most people stop doing such brazenly stupid things, but the sport of power slapping is growing quickly. Three more strikers took their first steps towards glory. UFC President Dana White calls it the ultimate test of toughness. Talking about, oh, what's next, mallets and stupid like that. The bottom line is, if, if you watch a boxing match, guys get hit with three, four hundred punches in a, in a fight. These guys are, are going to get hit with three slaps. Mm -hmm. So for, for, for these to be talking all the that they are about the Athletic Commission and stuff, the Athletic Commission did the right thing. Even though scientists warn that slapping each other can cause serious health problems. And the brain activity has become disorganized at the cerebral level. The cerebral level will actually mask primitive reflexes. On January 18th, Power Slap came out of the shadows and into the open. Even though there was opposition, UFC President Dana White's Power Slap League was shown for the first time on TBS. The show takes place in Las Vegas at the UFC's Apex Center. There's been a lot of talk about the show. People have talked about how violent slap fighting is as a form of entertainment. Not only that, but before the show started, a video of Dana White and his wife getting into a fight was made public. After a video showed White and his wife slapping each other on New Year's Eve, Warner Media and TBS only pushed back the start of the show by a week. Even though the style of play is rough, the Nevada State Athletic Commission has approved rules for the organization. Hunter Campbell, the chief business officer of the UFC, said that there will be the same medical requirements, weight classes, and matchmaking as in MMA. He explained that there will be fair weight difference, mouth guards and earplugs, and fouls will be enforced. During each match, two people take turns being the striker and the defender. A competitor has up to 30 seconds to get ready to slap another competitor and 30 seconds to get back on their feet. A striker is chosen by flipping a coin or by seeding. In a slap fight, there are three to five rounds. When a competitor gets knocked down, the referee gives them 10 seconds to get back up and show they can keep going. Up to three to five rounds are possible. The criteria for judging are how good the striker is and how fast the defender can react and get back on his feet. If neither fighter is knocked out after a certain round, the judges will use the 10-point system that's common in mixed martial arts and boxing, 10-9, 10-8. Slap fighting has only been a sport for a short time. Since the early 2000s, it's been getting more and more popular in Eastern Europe. Now, a TV show called Power Slap Road to the Title has brought it to a wider audience. The show has eight episodes and Dana White is in charge of making them. It brings athletes from all over the world together to find out who has the strongest slap in the world. Slapping first in the sport is a big deal. AJ knocked Russell out cold in the first round, and he never had to take a shot. And seems to be 100% unplanned. After going viral, the show's getting a lot of bad feedback. Scientists and viewers are worried about the safety of the competitors. Neurologists have warned that these kinds of blows to the head can have very bad effects. Chris Nowinski, a former wrestler who's now a neurologist, went on Twitter to say how much he hates the show. Nowinski called the show pure exploitation and pointed out how ridiculous sports can be. Next, they'll ask, who can survive being stabbed, Nowinski said. Sam Jones, who promoted boxing, also said that the sport was wrong. Jones said, it's stupid and dangerous. No one should give this any sort of stage. And Dana White's claim that he cares about fighters' health is pretty funny when he backs this crap. Other experts in the field have said that the sport can cause serious long-term physical harm to participants and can even kill them. One problem with Power Slap is that the players are penalized if they move or flinch. Nikos Evangelou, a professor, said this to Sky News. In other combat sports, athletes can move and dodge hits to make them less painful. In Power Slap, the person getting hit has no way to protect themselves from the full force of the blow. It's just a matter of time before a dissection causes a more serious brain injury. Evangelou says that a slap has about the same amount of force as a punch. People usually think of a slap as a less serious blow, but in the Power Slap League, competitors try hard not to move their heads. This means that there are more risks. 
Evangelou said because the head could move back and forth, there could be even more serious problems. A slap can kill if it breaks a major artery that brings blood to the brain. Even though there are a few long-term problems that are much more likely to happen from repeated head trauma, such as memory loss, worsening cognitive function, and CTE. In a recent interview, Dana White was quick to play down the backlash. White said, No one is making you watch this. We spend the money to make sure there are two healthy people in there, with the right care for their health during and after the fight. White said that just like any other martial art, people need to learn about the sport. The UFC's chief business officer, Hunter Campbell, said that the Power Slap League safety measures were put through a lot of testing, with medical requirements like competitive matchmaking and weight classes that are similar to those of other combat sports. Once we tried it, it was clear that this could be a huge sport, they said. Campbell said, It made perfect sense to work on rules before the sport started, for all the obvious reasons. First and foremost, the competitor's health and safety. Jules Scott has said that when he fights in Dana White's new Power Slap League, his life will be in danger. Scott, who's 38 years old, has been a professional boxer and mixed martial artist fighter. He's now trying his hand at UFC President Dana White's controversial slap fighting group. The American doesn't agree with the general opinion that the competition is safe. He thinks it's just as dangerous as the other fighting sports he's done. Scott told Complex, I'm kind of thinking along the same lines with the thought in the back of my head that I could get killed here or die here. So I'm ready to do whatever it takes not only to stay alive, but also to win and come out on top. I go to war to make money. It wouldn't have mattered what it was. Just tell me how to play and I'll be there. Several contestants on Power Slap have been brutally knocked out during their matches. Brain doctor Chris Nowinski says one contestant may never be the same after losing short-term memory after a match. Now. Without a doubt, if you've been not unconscious, you have had a neurological change. You've had some neurological symptom, loss of consciousness. Eric Spicely, who's been in the UFC for a while, said that he was offered a contract that would pay him only $2,000 to fight in the league. This is five times less than the lowest UFC purse. Boxer Ryan Garcia recently said that power slap should be banned because it's a horrible idea. But Scott has threatened to slap his response. The 38-year-old said that he spent a year learning about the rules of power slap before deciding to join the league. Scott defended the safety of slap fighting by saying that boxers and MMA fighters get hit in the head more often than people who fight with their hands. Well guys, that's all for today. What's your take on the new controversial league? Comment below.